Hey everybody and welcome to the one where I give you some free resources on learning web development. So there are so many resources out there and so many different theories on what it takes to learn how to code. And if you didn't go to school for it and you're looking to get in, it can sometimes be overwhelming with the amount of information that's out there. So what I'm gonna to try to do here is give you a few sites and resources that you can use to begin the journey into coding and development. I think it's good practice to use something for free to begin with, and that way you can understand whether it's something that you like, if it's something that you feel like you're good at, and if it's something that you can see yourself doing every day, just in case you do decide to go to a boot camp or you do go, go back to school for it and drop thousands of dollars to learn this, you wanna make sure that it's something that you're into. Another important thing to keep in mind is what you're actually learning when you're doing this on your own. So you wanna make sure that you are learning the right skills for the job that you want. This video is going to be pretty front end and and like front end web developer heavy just because that's what I know the best. But most of the websites that I'm giving you have resources for other languages on the back end and database stuff like that. But just as a quick thought uh, for front end, my theory on what you need to know to get a job doing web development and front end stuff is going to be HTML and CSS, uh, CSS preprocessor like SAS or less, and then JavaScript, so vanilla JavaScript, and then jQuery is a good thing to have, and some sort of framework and understanding how frameworks work, whether that be React or Angular or Ember or Vue.js, um, any of those frameworks, having an understanding of those will really uh, get you a leg up when it comes to getting a job as a web developer. What you wanna do is research what kind of uh, technologies are in use in your area, and that will really help you when deciding on what to learn. Also, one of my earliest videos, I went over what I thought the skills you would need to get a job as a web developer are, and I will link that in one of the corners, whichever one shows the cards. That video is available to you, and if you have any questions about it, feel free to leave comments on that video or this one, and I'll be sure to get back to you on it. All right, guys, so all of these resources that I'm about to go over are all free on their baseline. Some of them do have monthly plans where you can get more in-depth and more tutorials and projects to work on, but at their basic level, they will have free tutorials for you to check out. So the first one I'm gonna go over is the obvious one. It's like the granddaddy of learning code online and it's Codecademy. Now, Codecademy is a website that you can go to. You can learn HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Ruby, and a bunch of other courses. It's great for understanding if code is something that you're into and if it's something that you like doing. So I would suggest checking it out, registering for a free account, going through their free tutorials and whatever interests you, and finding out if it's something that you like. The next resource is gonna be Eloquent JavaScript, and this is a free ebook that you can go to in your browser, and they have a sandbox where you can play around with code. And it, it's a dry book, to be completely fair to it, but it is also a great resource in understanding JavaScript and kind of the inner workings of the language. And it's something that I would definitely try to check out. The first four or five chapters are a really good starting point. Work through a Codecademy tutorial first and then jump over to Eloquent JavaScript and you'll get a little bit of a deeper understanding of the theory behind the exercises that you did in Codecademy. The next two resources that I'm gonna give you are project-based. And one of the best ways to learn how to program is to get a problem and have to solve it and not know how to solve it before you've looked at it. The first one is JavaScript 30, which is by an awesome dude named Wes Boss. Boss, And I'll link that down below. It's completely free. It's 30 days of JavaScript projects all written in vanilla JavaScript using ES6, like the latest syntax for JavaScript. And it is something that is awesome. I've worked through a couple of them and I am learning so much that I never knew about ES6. And I've been working in this field for a while now. So they are a great resource. And the other one is a website called Project Euler. And what Project Euler is, is they give you a challenge every day and you have to figure out that challenge in whatever language you wanna use. Coding challenges that are not only gonna help you understand the language, but they'll also prepare you for whiteboarding and technical interviews if you have to go through any kind of challenges while you're there in person. So the next website is Code School, and Code School is a great resource for understanding how to program. They have videos and songs and a bunch of other uh, different things that Codecademy doesn't necessarily have when trying to teach you how to program. It has a lot of content that's paid and some content that's free, but it's worth it to check it out for the free content if you're interested in a different environment in learning code as opposed to Codecademy, which is pretty basic and streamlined, just you and a computer and text. All right, so the last two resources that I'm gonna give you guys are about the community around programming. So if you get involved on any of the Reddit sub forums around the programming language or the stuff that you're interested in in programming, they can be a great resource. They have coding challenges on Reddit, they have feedback loops about learning programming, and if you have questions, 
it's a great resource for asking those as well. And then one of the best things that you can do to get involved in the community of programming in your area, and it would serve you well if you're going to look for a job in the near future with networking, is to check out Meetup. So if you download the Meetup app on your phone, look for programming-esque meetups. So in my area, we have an Angular Meetup, and we have a JavaScript Meetup, and there's a Web Developer Meetup. And all of these things are where people go to learn, and they go to network, and they go to be a part of a community around code and development. They can be great for two reasons. One, you'll learn something. If it's a talk from someone who is a senior programmer and they're teaching something new or something that's exciting to them. And two, you get to meet people. And meeting people can be good for a multitude of reasons. They can sometimes lead to you being friends and getting mentorship from people who you hit it off with. It can help you find a job. Like I said, if you meet somebody and they have an opening and you're trying to get a foot in the door and you're not classically trained at a, at a college or something like that it's a foot in the door if you know somebody who can refer you so meetups are always a good idea and being involved in the community is always a good idea all right guys that's all i have for today if you have any other resources that you love to use or that you used when you were learning to code leave them down below this is just a free resource list and it's not at all exhaustive but if you're thinking about trying to get into this and you were at a loss for where to start i think it's a good place but like I said, if you have any other resources, feel free to let me know what they are and we can check them out. As always, if you like what I'm doing here, feel free to hit that like button and the subscribe button if you wanna keep following along. I do make web developer videos on occasion and I have writing videos too if you're interested in writing or screenwriting, anything like that. Thank you for coming by. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them below. Like I said, I'm always trying to answer comments. I don't think I've missed one yet. And if I have, feel free to ask it again and I'm sorry. But I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you very soon. Bye.